Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video, but in this video, I'm gonna show you how to change your oil on a Kawasaki Vulcan. Most motorcycles are set up the exact same way. My particular model is a 2001 VN1500E. If you have a Kawasaki Vulcan, it's gonna be exactly the same way. If you don't, it's gonna be something similar, hopefully not too far off, but here's everything I'm gonna use to change the oil on this bike. Super, super simple. Uh, I've got some Valvoline 10W40. I'm telling you, look there on the label. It says, excellent wet clutch protection. Normally when a place tries to charge you something extra, I would tell you, marketing scam. In this case, no. Don't put car oil in your motorcycle. You need that wet clutch protection. There's some kind of voodoo magic in there that actually makes your bike to where you can shift and you need your bike to shift so go ahead and get the motorcycle oil spend the extra ten dollars i promise you you'll be glad that you did and then for this bike the uh nut to let loose the oil train plug is a 17 millimeter socket and then i don't have an oil uh filter wrench so i'm going to use some chin locks to get a good grippy on there and twist her off. And then I've already got an oil pan underneath it. My bike is lowered with some progressive lowering springs. So I had to drive that sucker up on a piece of concrete and some wood to get it high enough to get that pan under there. But let's, uh, let's change some oil. Also, might as well mention to you for a Vulcan 1500, the part number for KNN is KN204-1. And it's recommended for these. 10W40, this is a water-cooled bike. If you have an air-cooled bike, it probably is recommended you do a 20W50. But just give it a Google and do whatever your bike manufacturer says. First thing I'm going to do is take my big old screwdriver and take the cap the oil filler cap and undo that. That is going to let your oil drain out faster. It's like when you pour out a two liter, it goes glub, 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 glub. Well, you take this off, there's more oil just coming out and less glubbing. And when you take that off, don't lose that uh, O-ring. I'm going to set that off to the side. Now, I'm going to take my hat off because it's in my way. Grab that uh, 17 millimeter. And I'm also going to take my knife out of my pocket because it's stabbing me. Grab that 17 millimeter. Make sure she's on the right way. And I'm going to find the, the big old nut that's right there in the center. And yeah, I'm going to loosen that sucker up. Be careful when you loosen that up too because there is a crush washer. A little metal washer. And... As I'm rolling around here on the floor, I better show you what kind of heat I'm packing today. Glock 21, baby. 45 ACP. Some frangibles in there today for you. But let me put that back in the holster. Let's get some oil out of here. Ugh. Working on your bike, you gotta have your gun on you, don't you? Isn't that like, <clears throat> like a requirement? You know, if you're rich and you got a some kind of fancy lift or something, uh, this is a little bit easier, but I'm not rich. And we don't want to tighten it, we want to loosen it. So... Man, I really had this sucker on there tight last time. This is where you... Bust your knuckle on this part right here. Oh, she moved a little bit. Am I tightening it? Yep, I'm tightening it. That's that's how you strip something with all these big old muscles here. There we go, yeah. So, I broke it loose there. And after that, you ought to be able to just finger loosen it. And get oil all over your hands, you know. Like I said, uh, do not lose the washer that's on here. 
Hopefully mine still has it. It surely does because it's not leaking oil, but I'm about to check. All right. I didn't get too much oil on my hands. And, uh, yeah. So there's that little washer I was talking about. It's got that little crush washer there. So I'm going to set that off to the side, get me a little raggy do, and, uh, yeah. Wait for a little bit of the oil to drain, but if you look at that oil there, that oil wasn't too terribly bad, but uh, probably could have rode a little bit longer on that, but it's been two years since I changed this oil. Somebody said two years and it looks that good. Yeah, it was two years. I changed the oil right before a ride to Mini Sturgis in Lake Ozark, Missouri. My dad and I rode 1,200 miles in two days. I changed it before that. It's got about 300 miles after that. So this oil change has about 1,500 miles on it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to let that drain for, you know, 10, 15 minutes till it's just about dripping. Then I'm going to plug her up and fill it back up with oil. Bada bing, bada boom. But there's some, uh, there's some old fogies that will tell you it's a requirement to run your motor hot before you let the oil out. Well, uh, those are the same guys that are carrying... 1911s as their everyday carry. 45, two world wars. Anyways, um, I do that sometimes, but today I didn't because it's hot in this garage and I didn't want to be sitting here working on a motorcycle this super hot and making me miserable. So, oil will, for the most part, drain all the way out of there. I'll be right back and uh, we're going to put some oil in it and do a few more little things. Check it out. All right, now I'm going to snatch this oil filter out of here. See where I'm at? behind the exhaust pretty much right under your seat there boop boop there she blows yeah and this is where I said I'm gonna get my chin locks because I don't have an oil filter wrench so I'm just gonna get a little good squeeze on there and I'll just drop her right there in the oil pan oh. I'm getting too old to be laying on the concrete here fellas this is where it helps to have the right tools and I don't have the right tools so as long as the jabroni who changed the oil last time didn't go too wild with this you should be able to spin it right off oh yeah see that was enough to break it just that little turn I can get my hand on here now. So, can I pull this off without getting oil on my hands? Sure can. And we're gonna let that sit there and dilly dally for a minute. <clears throat> this K&N filter is fancy pants. It actually has a uh, uh, socket on the end there. I normally am getting the cheapy cheap stuff, but this was the only one they had when I went to the store. So I'm going to grab just a dab of that oil and just put a smidge around that O-ring there and make sure it's wet. Then I'm going to dry my hands off of oil while I'm trying to tighten this. Where's my rag? Uh, yeah. I'm gonna take this new filter and I'm gonna make sure to be real careful not to mess up these threads and I'll just hand tighten it on. And I'm lucky enough that this socket on this filter actually is a 17 millimeter just like my drain plug so I'm gonna go ahead and tighten her up you don't have to really give it the beans here you don't want to strip anything out but you don't want her leaking any oil so I'm just gonna give her a few good turns there I said a few, maybe 10, because I'm just barely turning the wrench. 
All right, we should be good there. Now, I need to put the drain plug back in. All right, one drain plug there. I don't see any problems with that crush washer, so we should be good to go. Same thing with it. <clears throat> oh. Pop this baby up in there. I'm actually going to move this pan now and just put a rag down there because that big old pan is really getting in the way with this bike being lowered and close to the ground. Whose idea was it to lower this bike, I wonder. Alright, so now I can get my big paws under here. Definitely need to put your... Uh, Put your drain plug in there before you start trying to fill it back up with oil. Like I said, be super careful not to uh, mess those threads up. I'll give that oil a rub down here with the rag. Grab the wrench quick. And just like the filter. Uh, even more so probably Don't go crazy pants on this nut. You do not want to strip this out Have to get somebody to re-drill it and tap it or something So after the hand tight, I barely even got that to budge so You don't need a whole bunch of leverage on this You want it snug, but don't want it stripped. So now we got the new oil filter tight we got the drain plug back in. Now we need to fill this baby up with oil. All right. Now, get all this junk out of my way. We're on to the easy part. I like the easy parts. Easy part is where you pour the oil in, where the oil goes. I couldn't find a filter. I'm gonna go see if I can find a filter quick. If not, we're just gonna pour it in there. All right. I found a little bitty one. That's actually gonna work out okay. So. This bike calls for three and a half quarts. So I'm going to pour three in and then we'll see where the level is. Where'd I put the hole? Ah! Yeah, I'm going to pour three quarts in. Then we'll get the bike up level and see what she looks like and see how much more we need to add in. So, yeah. Here goes three quarts of oil in this Kawasaki. Oh, yep, too old for this stuff. If you didn't know, that's how you pour oil. That's how you pour oil. Don't pour it like that. Pour it like that. Just works better. Why do it the hard way? But yeah, see that clear? That's what your oil should look like. Not uh, kind of like that black stuff that came out of the bike. So yeah, I'm going to pour these three quarts in here, and then I'll be right back. Y'all don't want to watch me pour a bunch of oil in for five minutes. And the final step is to check the oil level. Some have a dipstick, some have a little window. Make sure that that line of oil is in between the high and low, and you're ready to get back out on the road. I need to polish those pipes up, don't I? <clears throat> Thanks for hanging out with me and changing the oil on this Kawasaki. Take this to the dealer. That's going to be $120, $150 job. And that costs us about $35. So, literally, if I wasn't trying to do the camera and all this, I could change the oil on this bike in five minutes. But, as always, appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you on the next one. Hoo hoo! Oh, yeah. And don't forget to put the oil filler cap back on. I forgot to film that part. You don't want oil shooting out the top of your motor. Bad stuff.